happy Sunday, everyone. Um, doesn't this look beautiful? This is January 20th today. Um, it looks very deceiving because the actual temperature is minus 30 degrees uh, Celsius and the wind chill is minus 41 degrees Celsius. I think minus 41 degrees Celsius is pretty close to Fahrenheit, so you can just imagine how cold it is, but it does look beautiful. So we're going to go in the greenhouse and we're going to show you um, the three different uh, LED lights that we uh, are doing experimental things with. Um, so we'll be right back. Hey guys, how you doing? I know Patty and I told you that we were to do some testing and give you some updates. Uh, that was a month or two ago, but we've been waiting on some lights. So we did do some testing with uh, what, two sets of lights. We have three different types of lights in the greenhouse right now. Uh, we just received these two on last week, so on the 11th of February, we planted some trays here, and we're doing a 30-day test. And now we're, we're, we're doing it with four, four different varieties of lettuce, just to see what kind of production we will get. So we have had a, a local company called LED Solutions give us these two lights to do a trial to see what kind of production we get. These are, I've got the proper lighting, they're 150 watt LED lights. Uh, I know it cost us, they're letting us do a 30 day trial and then if we like them, the, we'll probably uh, put more in the greenhouse. But what we did do in the meantime, we took these lights that we got off, we got these from uh, Amazon. So they're just uh, cheap lights, $85. They're, they're 300 watt lights, which is equivalent to 120 watts. And we did a 30 day test. With, and we only used one variety, and that was Tropicana. And we can show you back here what Tropicana looks like. Here's some Tropicana here. And you see I've got them on. I've just turned them on now for the video. We have them on a timer, and we run them from 7 in the evening till 7 in the morning. And we will, I'll come back out tonight, and I'll show you actually in the dark what they look like. It's quite impressive, actually. And we have them set at different heights because we're trying to find that right spot to cover the full length of the trough. Uh, what we did the first with the first tests with the with these lights here, which really aren't anything special, just bought them off Amazon. We got every different color light under there. But we did a, a test with some troughs under this one here and some farther back with no light. Well, we had, to our surprise, we had a hundred and 30% increase in growth. And what I mean that is weight. Where we got one pound off one trough, not under the lights, you know, we got we got almost uh, you know 130% more off than weight off the one under the light. Uh, but what really surprised me was the quality of the lettuce. I couldn't believe the color and the crispness was so much nicer than the, the lettuce that wasn't under the light. So you know that was the first test we did. So we did another test. While I was waiting on these lights, we ordered two LED floodlights off Amazon, and they were just a $25 light bulb that we put in some sockets. We did the same test for 30 days, same product, Tropicana. Well, these lights, we got 300% increase in, over what wasn't under light. So what we were getting a trough like this in 30 days, we might get a pound of lettuce, we were getting four pounds which is tremendous in the middle of winter. You know, it's minus 30 out today. You know, we, we get right down to about six and a half, seven hours of sunlight in the winter time. So, you know, it, we see quite a drastic drop in the growth for about 12 months of the year. Uh, so we're gonna try this as supplemental lighting only and uh, we'll see what happens. So what we'll do, we'll update you on these better lights uh, in about three weeks from now, like I say, we're going to do it for 30 days, so that put us about March 11th, or February 11th. We will harvest them, and uh, we'll show you what kind of increase we get. And it'll be interesting this time, because we do have the four different varieties that we grow. And we'll see what uh, which ones do better under the lights. So let's bring them back and show them the lights that you were talking about. Yeah, we'll go back here. Okay guys, so you can see these floods like these are just bulbs that I bought off Amazon. They're again 150 watt. It's a little hard to see, sorry, it's a little hard to see with the sunshine. Yeah, and I'll come back out tonight and show you. But I had these set up this way, over the troughs, lengthwise. 
And uh, like I say, we got 300% increase with these. And they're set about four and a half feet above the lettuce, but it covered the whole length, 11 foot trough. And I, you know, I was really impressed with these. Now, so we just got to see how the, these other ones do. And, and consumption is a big deal too, the hydro. Uh, we'll just have to do some uh, figuring out which ones are most economical. And we'll, then we're probably going to light the whole greenhouse up. It would pay for us to do that. You can see here this, I see it's even working good over the Swiss. I moved them back here last week because we've been harvesting this so hard all winter to go to the farmer's market in North Bay. I actually didn't take any this week. I'm going to give it a week's break just to catch up again. But we've reached this point in the winter time. Things are picking up again. We've, we, we've reached the low, the low point, and we're seeing things start to pick up. And as you walk through the greenhouse, you'll see that things are starting to come alive again. Like I said, it's minus 30 in here, but the furnaces aren't even running today. It's not minus 30 in here, guys. Oh, no, outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, minus 30 outside, but the furnaces aren't even running today. Now that won't be for very long, but as long as the sun is out, it's producing enough heat to keep it nice and warm in here. So anyways, we'll see you again in a few weeks, and we'll let you know how we've made out with these new lights. All right. So what are we doing? We're going to go check out the lights at night so everyone can see the different light spectrum. And and we'll just see how it looks. It's minus 25 out, so let's go. It's cold. <laughs> it's yeah. freezing. Oh, it's freezing. So this is what the uh, lettuce house looks like at night. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Whew, it is cold. Let's go in. Whew, oh, it's beautiful in here. Like summertime, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can see it, guys. These are the lights we have on donation to us for, for the next 30-day trial. And you can see it looks a lot different at night. We're feeding the plants light, just like you feed the fertilizer. We're feeding them the different colors of light. And it's really starting to show up that uh, we're getting some really positive results. So we'll just take a quick look. We've got some bok choy growing here, some rex. Joy. Just wanted to show you what it looked like tonight. Here's our nursery behind the patty with our other lights. Let's turn over slowly. So these are just some we bought off Amazon. They're a little different color. So these are the Amazon lights. There's some arugula here. Some Swiss chard, bok choy started. Everything looks so different yeah. under these lights. Yeah, it's totally different. It's not what you expect when you look out of here today. We only have a few of them in here, so we'll walk to the far end and show you the floodlight type bulbs that we have. And in through this section where there are no lights, it uh, gets a little dark. So head down this way to the Swiss chard. These are the, uh, what are the floodlights, yeah, eh? Like 150 watt. We had some really good results with these two on the 30 day tests that we did. So we just hope it looks, you can see a little different at night what they look like. And, uh, we're really happy with them so far. So uh, we'll get back to you in a couple weeks and let you know how the finished product is. So yeah, do you want to just let them know, uh, tell them how high you've got these above the plants? I, I have them 48 inches above. I have one at 48 inches, another at 54. We're just trying to see if. Uh, it's a little different uh, heights to, give us, to cover a bigger area. We're still going to recover. We're going to have some testing done next week with a meter. Uh, we have one coming in. He's going to bring a light meter, so we'll be able to test the strength of the light at the, at the ends of each trough and just see how much it'll cover. So I hope that helps you a little bit. Yeah, we'll see you next week. The one thing I have noticed with these lights is that after the first week, these are a lot larger and thicker than they were under the other lights. It looks like they're going to be a lot tighter head of lettuce. So. And this is from our trial lights that we're yeah. just testing out now. So we really won't know for a couple of weeks. There's only been nine days, so we'll have to see what happens. They're looking really good. Beautiful.